What's going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more Estranier. So in this episode, we are picking up where we left off, kind of, sort of. I went and collected some things, and we got them smelted. And we're going to build some of the new machines to take a look at those guys. So, uh, yeah. Um, first of all, I got to say, this iron looks so cool. Look how odd. Oh, oh, look at the zinc. Oh, it has like the little, like, little flex of stuff. Oh, it's so cool. I love This is such a good update. Such a great update in the Estranier community here. Um... And as always, if you guys haven't already, don't forget to leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe as well. Again, we just hit 31,000 like this week, and it's just super exciting. I'm super excited to uh, to be doing this. But um, okay, so without further ado, we're finally, we are finally going to get into some of the, uh, ooh, I have 8,600 bytes, 8,600 bytes. Okay, we're going to get into some of the new things, and I am super stoked about this. Okay, we're going to need all of the above. I think we have everything. Well, we don't have plastic, but I think we can we can get there. So we can get this guy, this one, and this one. Okay. So we got all those. Now, uh, shoot. Oh my gosh, I need I need re <laughs> I need resin so I can build stuff. Um Oh wait, look at uh one, two, three. Uh okay. You know, each one of these platforms takes three now. Large platform type B. Oh my gosh, that almost got me. It almost got me again. I was, uh, I've been so used to large platform type A that that's a thing now. So, okay, uh, we need so much storage. It's, wait, hold on, my stuff blew away. Uh, uh-oh, where'd the rest of it go? Items? Oh, geez, they're all the way over here. What are you guys doing over here? You need to get back, get back over here where you belong. Come on, come on, guys. Quit running away. All right. So, uh, um... I guess we'll just go ahead and leave this. <laughs> we'll just leave it here for now. It's fine. And we'll throw that on there. Perfect. Do that. And oh, we have more. Oh, we have so much. St okay, we have so much stuff. Uh, resin. We need some serious amounts of resin. But let's go ahead and get this guy out first. I want to start looking at this stuff. I'm super excited. I haven't messed with a whole bunch of the machines yet. We've been out like trying to just collect stuff. It's crazy how them adding them adding the stuff that they did like increased uh how much how much you actually have to do in order to get some of the things so a research chamber smelting furnace soil centrifuge chemistry lab that's what i want tungsten glass ceramic so we have what is this iron tungsten uh ceramic and i don't have any glass but i do have some quartz so let's go ahead and get that done my base is awful right now. I'm just telling you that right now. It looks absolutely terrible. It is just so unorganized. Wait a second. Hold, hold everything. Wait. Can, uh, can I have? Can uh, can can? Thank you. Do I have? Oh, I have store. Oh, I have a ton of storage. Okay, let's throw it on here for now. Um, we're gonna get it all organized up soon. I promise it's gonna happen. And, but we just really got to get some of these basic like machines out that we didn't have before. Okay, let's throw this back over there. And we'll grab this one. And we'll throw some things on this as well. Actually, is that everything? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. So glass, tungsten. All right, we got it. We got it. We got it. Chemistry lab. Open that guy up. Oh, and it's dark. Fantastic. It's going, sun's going out. You know, I feel like the daylight has been like going like super fast. Oh, also... Somebody did comment it, and they said that there's a, uh, oh yeah, brightness, look at that. We could, we could up the brightness a little bit. How far, like, what's it look like? Woo, that's really bright. Really dark. Oh, you can go negative. Really bright. Okay, let's, let's see what this looks like. Alright, apply and resume. Looks a little bit better. Not quite as, not quite as dark. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna find some more resin, because we have what? two three three more things that we got to build so we need some more platforms but uh how did you get so far away no no <laughs> it was rolling away he was trying to leave it was trying to leave he she whatever um i'm gonna grab some more resin so we can get some more platforms built so we can get the other machines built as well uh plastic i don't know what plastic is yet so kind of curious on that one i was assuming that plastic was going to be like smelted compound or something but, um, yeah, it, I guess it, it wasn't, it wasn't, so. Where is, uh, well, there, I guess there's resin right here. We could just take this. 
Yeah, we'll just take this resin. Why not? All right, we got resin. We got a, a boatload of resin now. Chemistry lab. This used to be known as a hydrazine. Uh, what was it? The hydrazine catalyzer. Hydrazine catalyzer. That's what it was. And what we're gonna need a large platform type B, which I'm currently in the way of. Print that guy. Okay. So it looks like. Oh, it looks okay. It's similar but different. There's no longer. There's no longer two. There's no longer four. And there's only what is this? Okay. Examine. So we can mix a organic and resin to get a rubber. Carbon and oh, carbon and compound to get plastic. And then we need plastic for the next thing. So we need a carbon, which is what the burnt stuff. Carbon, which is organic, and compound, which I do I have? Oh, I do have one. I have one in my back. Perfect. Okay. So let's do this. Oh, it kind of shows you. Okay. So carbon, compound. Catalyze. Interesting. Okay, the sun is out. Let's get some power. Let's get some power going, shall we? Come on, people. Let's go. Wake up. Wake, wake up. All right. Okay. Wait, so how do you make hydrazine? Oh, you probably have to go through the same process. The same process. Uh, carbon and compound makes plastic. Interesting. What's it look like? It's done. Ooh, it's a nice little shiny white one. Okay, okay, cool, okay. So we got that, now uh, let's go ahead and throw this right here, unpack that, and we need our atmospheric condenser. Don't know what it is, but we need iron and glass. Ooh, lags. Jeez, big lag, okay, glass and iron. Ooh, it, the iron looks so good, I like it. And we're going here. Atmospheric condenser. What do you do? Uh, actually, that looked pretty good. That lined up pretty pretty well. Perfect. What does this do? This is a completely new thing too. This is like, this isn't a re a redesigned thing. I've never seen this before. It looks, it looks neat. Atmospheric condenser. I would say I don't know what to me an atmospheric condenser kind of sounds like a oxygen maker, but. I, I, you know, I'm not saying, a, okay, what? Collects resources from the local atmosphere. Unpack. Okay. Oh, it's, it's running. Oh, it's super cool. Okay, so examine. Hydrogen, argon, methane, nitrogen, heli helium. What? And salt, what? Uh, okay, so do I... Use? <gasps> oh, this is the... This is super cool. <gasps> I love this. Oh my gosh. Oh! Hydrogen, atmospheric resource. Is it making more? That's the coolest looking canister I've ever seen! And it feels- Oh, I love it! Oh my gosh, I am so ex- This is the coolest thing! Uh... Wow! Collect resources from the local atmosphere- That means each planet was gonna have its own resources that you can collect. Okay, so wait, hold on, what do you need? Is it in here? Okay. Carbon compound, aluminum, copper, tungsten, carbide- Hydrazine, okay, so for graphene, you need hydrazine graphite. For diamond, what do you need diamond for? Ammonium and ammonium for hydrazine and hydrogen to make hydrazine. Okay. Methane and quartz to make silicone, so this is where, okay, methane. Sulfur, explosive powder, you're gonna need carbon, carbon, and sulfur for that. <gasps> That's the coolest canister ever! And then steel. Is iron, carbon, argon makes steel, titanium alloy, titanium graphene, and nitrogen, nanocarbon alloy, titanium alloy. This is super expensive. I don't even know what you're gonna need that for, but that looks super cool. Um, okay, so let's examine. So there's there's different things. Oh, I I have to let it. Oh, 
This is the coolest canister. This is like, okay. So what I like about this is these, right? This is the oxygen canister. It's just a little solid color. This is actually like moving in, I, I am, this is, I'm, this is the coolest. I'm just at a loss for words. This is the coolest thing ever. <laughs> I love it so much. Okay, so we're gonna wait for this one to get filled up. Uh, I really like that. I, it's probably gonna change, but I like that you don't have to have a canister already to put on there to get it filled up. I really like that. That's kind of a cool thing. Uh, so, oh my gosh, there are so many possibilities now. There's so many possibilities. Now, what, what I'm taking away from this is that there's a lot of these resources for things that we've already had, right? Okay, so cancel. Let's examine. Hydrogen. Argon. So you're gonna have to travel to other plants. Methane? We don't have enough here. Nitrogen? Uh, we have enough here. Helium? Don't have enough here. Sulfur? Don't have enough here. So other planets are gonna have, oh my gosh, multi-bases on multiple planets is an actual thing that you actually are gonna have to do now. This is so exciting. This is, I'm just, I'm sorry. This is the coolest thing. And okay, the reason I like this, the implications of it is, yes, we have the set items that we've had for pretty much the most time. I mean, granted, there's a few new things, but what this is allowing to do, this is putting the basic tools, basic resources in for future additions, future things you can build, things like that, that are going to require different resources, like the the carbon nanotube or the the nanocarbon alloy. I don't even know what that's used for, honestly. Like, I don't. I, let me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna peruse through here and see if I can find a nano car carbon alloy. Because I don't, I have no idea what we'd actually use it for. Yeah, I don't see anything in here that actually requires that. Yet. Yet. So that's what's exciting, is that there's things that are in here that we're not even using it. Oh my gosh, this is the coolest thing! Oh, yes! Yes, this is amazing. I'm so excited. Okay. So we have these two things now. <gasps> Oh, I'm sorry. I've just been sitting here like oodling over. Okay, let's go ahead and get something else. We got, um, let's do uh, nitrogen. Let's get some nitrogen going. Now, this is 100 parts per million. So, does it go faster? Oh, well, we don't have any power. We don't have any power. Okay, that's fine. Also, I don't have anything being researched either. That's not always a good thing either. <gasps> oh, there's just so many cool things. Okay. So, since we're going to be going into planetary, interplanetary, uh, titanium alloy for the large shuttle? What does titanium alloy take? Oh my goodness. Um, titanium alloy is nitrogen, graphene, titanium, and nitrogen. I don't think I have titanium. I think we found that one thing of it, the tit titanite. Do we have titanium? Oh yeah, we do. What? Refined titanite. So we have two of those. Okay. Titanium. Actually, that's gonna be enough. But we need nitrogen. Is this nitrogen? This is hydrogen. Oh, that looks super cool. <laughs> I love it so much. <gasps> nitrogen. Okay, cool. We're making nitrogen. So we're gonna need titanium. Got it. Nitrogen. Got it. Uh, graphene. We don't have graphene. What do we need for graphene? Graphite and hydrazine. What is this? Hydrogen. But hydrazine requires hydrogen and two ammonium. So we're, oh my gosh, the trees. The trees required to make things now is insane. But we're going to build a large shuttle because we're going to be traveling back fourth planets now. We have to. We're like there's there's things on other planets that we're going to absolutely need to go and find. This is the coolest. This is like the coolest update ever. I absolutely love it. Absolutely am loving this update. Um now Okay, we have enough bites for everything. Large shuttle. We don't have any rovers yet. We're gonna the buggy. We really need the buggy But the large shuttle we're gonna need the large shuttle. What's the large storage take ceramic times three? That's not terrible. Oh Look I made another thing of it <laughs> That's the coolest. Thing. I love I'm absolutely loving all this. Okay Um. So we're gonna need to build a base on another planet now What planet should we build it on is the question? That's the question. Okay, so this is what we do. I'm gonna. You guys need to comment down below. Like, what planet do you think we should build a base on? I don't know if we're gonna start it next episode or not, but we're gonna have to start getting things ready because we gotta get the large shuttle built first, and then we can start building some other things. Um, I'm kind of thinking maybe we should work on power generation. Maybe we should get this one base like fully up and running. 
before we start building a base on another place, you know? Get things all, like, everything unlocked. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do that. Oh, this is just, like, I am so excited. That is amazing. Is there anything, like, is there anything else new that I haven't looked at yet? Crane, no. We've looked at all that. Um, small shuttle was the new addition there. Uh, large platforms, research chamber, smelting furnace, soil centrifuge. Oh, the soil centrifuge. We haven't built that yet. Um, aluminum and compounds. So let's build a soil centrifuge. We're gonna need another. We're gonna need another large platform type A B type B. <laughs> I almost did it. I almost did it. We're gonna need that guy. Now, I believe the soil centrifuge has actually changed as well. It's no longer the mineral extractor where you can put anything on it. I don't think. I don't think that's how it is, but... Oh, shoot, there's a storm. Okay. Well, we're gonna hide from the storm. No, that's not what I wanted, but okay. Alright, we're gonna hide from the storm. We'll be back in just a second. Alright, storm has passed. Now we can actually continue what we were doing before. Let's just go ahead and put this here. Arrow is the wrong way. I know people always comment every time. They're like, you can just adjust the thing. You can just uh, rotate the deal, but... It's okay. I have to I have to have the arrow pointing the correct direction. It's if it wasn't important, they wouldn't have it. Right? Right? Exactly. Okay. Unless it's supposed to be pointing backwards. Hmm. They have been doing it wrong the entire time. I don't know. Alright, so we need the soil centrifuge. Aluminum and compound. I probably don't have any compound. Actually, I don't even know if I have aluminum. I don't think I do. I don't think I have aluminum or compound. Uh, zinc, iron, hmm, okay, I don't have any, so let me go run out and grab that, we're gonna build this guy, take a look at it, oh my gosh, there's just so many new things, there's just, uh, finding those resources was like a huge step for us, it was a huge step, um, also, I, I, at some point, I think I'm going to relocate the base, because I really want it to be flat. I really want it to be flat. So we'll probably do a relocation and reorganization, get things organized a little bit better. Um, aluminum, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm after. I was like, wait, what am I even coming down here for? Okay, so we're gonna go down here. Shwink, yeah, fly, okay. And yeah, we'll probably end up, uh, you know, we could build a base in the cave. Then we won't have to worry about the stupid storms, but then we won't have solar power, and then we could run solar power. Mm, all kinds of things. Oh, hey, this is Titanite right here. Look at that. We'll grab this too, because I'll forget if I don't grab it. Um, I really need to get the inhibitor mod as well. Uh, I only got one Titanite out of this. Shoot. Oh, there's some right here. Okay. Okay. Titanite looks like, uh, the, uh, it looks like licorice. The, the, like, the watermelon or the sour apple licorice. If you guys ever buy it at, like, a farm store. I know, probably not, but if you guys know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. It looks the same. Alright, so we got a little bit more. Oh, there's a whole bunch over here. Oh, extends out. It didn't really grow off of this as much as it should have, but that's fine. Um, I don't really need this either, but I'm already kind of collecting. Let's get one. Okay, we got one. We got one thing of clay. Alright, where is aluminum? Ooh, it sounds like there's thunder outside. Okay, I'm gonna go find some aluminum and some compound, and we're gonna build our soil centrifuge. All right, we got what we need. Let's do it. Soil centrifuge. Uh, oh, it was only one aluminum, two compound. I had that backwards. Okay, so we'll build this guy. This thing is super cool. I just I keep coming back looking at. It. Now my plan is actually, it would make sense to have multiples because if we can have what three things being generated on one planet, we could have all three going at the same time, generating also a large platform type C. I think unless it changed with the uh, the little wings that go up with all the slots. That would be ideal for this guy as well, because if you put storage on here, that gives you eight slots where the, the wings that go up have, I believe, ten on each side? Is it ten on each side? So that would be super cool. Also, once we do go to another planet, we set up a little base, we could have multiples on another base as well. I don't know if they'll generate while we're gone, though. I don't know if they'll generate while we're gone, because we could all we need is really just a couple solar panels and things like that, so... Um, ideas. All ideas. But I want to check out this guy, because this guy changed, I know for sure. Also, the trade platform, I believe, no longer takes regular materials. Somebody did comment that. And it says, it no longer takes regular materials, it only takes scrap. So, another aspect that changed, but it's all, it's like all cool, cool kind of things, so... And honestly, the trade platform was a little bit overpowered anyways, but okay, what do we got here? Examine. Uh, clay, quartz, 
graphite, compound, resin, and organic. So you can make basic resources. Yeah, you can make basic resources. Okay, okay, that's neat. Um, I don't know that we're gonna utilize that a whole bunch. I'm sure we will at some point. Hmm. Compound and resin are probably gonna be like the two biggest things, but that is that is neat. Oh, look at all that stuff going. Okay. So, hmm, I'm thinking that maybe we should. I'm actually kind of thinking maybe we should try to find a new base location. That's that would be just because I want to have everything flat and I want to be able to organize everything. We also need to get power. Like we don't have an, we don't have nearly enough power for everything. Uh, I guess we can throw that on there. We can throw that on there. Don't need that. We can throw this on here. Uh, yeah, there's just a lot of base building stuff that we got to do. What are, we, what are our bites at currently? 63? Yeah, large platform type C. But then we like the extra large platform type B. Okay, so they did change that. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. So, yeah. I think what we're gonna... Hmm. I keep going back and forth on what we're gonna do. Because I want to relocate the base to a nicer area. It's like a, a better area and find a nice flat spot and then bring everything over with me since this area doesn't allow for the perfect flatness. Um, and this one's all done, okay. Now if there are slots, it'll keep going, but since we don't have any open slots or anything left, then it, it stopped. What do we need for this? Hydrogen, ammonium, we need a bunch of ammonium so we can get hydrazine. And then we need titanium alloy, which is graphene. And what do we need for graphene? Graphene is hydrazine graphite. And then I'll give us graphene and then graphene with titanium will give us titanium alloy. Whoo, okay. Getting they're getting a little deep now. They're getting a little deep. But I like it. I like it. I feel like it was always a little easier. It was always a little too easy to get everything in the game right away. So this definitely makes it more entertaining. Like I said, I mean, we're on episode, what, four now of this series, and we just got these things. So before, I mean, I was like episode two, maybe three, super beginning of three. Oh, there's research, research over here. Let's grab these. So I, I am liking it. Normally, I'm not a big fan of them making what's already in the game harder. But in this case, it's it works. It works. It, it was almost always too easy to start with. So let's go ahead and just bring this over here. Is this a perfectly flat surface? No, it's not. I was like, no way. <laughs> it's like, I guess we're building here. That would actually be kind of nice because then we won't have to even go that far. But oh well. All right, let's go ahead and grab. There's this one right here. Okay. There's that one. Was there another one over here? A lot of trees over here to not have a. To not have any more research on them. I don't think there is. Interesting. Okay. All right, that's fine. Ooh, lots of resin. Lots of resin. Okay, I gotta remember that. Lots of resin over here. All right, so let's go throw this back on the base. And, oh my gosh, there's just like, there's so many ways to go right now. Do we go and start building another base, or do we make our base that we have already better and then start collecting from other bases? Like, I feel like we should set up our infrastructure at our home base to be working first before we go to another place. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, 450. All that for 450 bytes. Oh, well, that's fine. That is fine. Oh, this is super cool. This is super cool. Alrighty. So, my plan officially is... This is going to be the end of this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Again, don't forget to subscribe as well. And between this episode and next episode, I'm going to go out. I'm going to try to find a place that I can get perfectly flat. And once we do, I'll bring you back. And we'll do base building over there. We'll move... All of this stuff, I, it, I'm i going to try to not have it too far away, though, because I'm going to have to actually hand carry like all this stuff over there. And uh, yeah, all that all that fun stuff. I would consider restarting and try to find a place that way. Nope, not anymore. Restarting a game now is definitely not going to be a thing. Like before I restarted a game all willy nilly, not even like worried about it now. Mm -mm, no, sir. No, sir. Not at all. We are going to definitely keep playing this save as long as we can, as long as we can, so. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time.